Hello, this is John from Life Academy. I want to talk to you about some principles of progression in math. And then we'll see if we can kind of make things clear. Now, when a child goes to school, they learn principles. And for example, a child might learn one times two equals two. And that makes a lot of sense. So we go through life and we learn that if you take something and you times it times two, it doubles. Okay? Very simple. But then when we ask ourselves, well, what is two times two? And we say, okay, well then that's that's four. And that does make a lot of sense. Okay? And then we say to ourselves, what is four times four? And then we say 16. It might not be as simple, but it is simple. I mean, well, then what is 16 times 16? There's where the problems start to arise. People start to look for different principles to solve problems that they learned in the beginning. So what I'm going to do is talk to you about how things progress, and how to keep them simple. So I'll turn the page here. Okay. So what we're going to have here is just a, a look at certain principles. And I've done this before in our tapes, but I'm going to just use this to be explicit about something which is very, very simple. Okay. So let's do this. Uh, let's put down one times seven equals seven well when you look at a number and you do it times one it's pretty simple you get the same effect okay when you do something times two you double it three triple it and so on and so forth but when you start to add certain principles you see simplicity you see creativity okay so looking at the same principle of one times seven one times seven is seven. Let's look at what is seven times 17. What you have here is you've got, you've got a seven times seven. Well, seven times, seven times seven is 49, right? Seven, seven, 49. But the point is because it's ones here, you're going to deal with that one again, okay? But what is the one? The one is not a one, it's the seven. Because you asked a question with the seven, so you gotta deal with that seven again one more time, okay? Watch how this works. We say to ourselves, seven times 17. Well, what we're really asking is, what is seven times seven? And that's a 49. And then there's a one. The one is this seven right here. So now you're going to add the seven to the eleven. That's eleven. I'm sorry, the, the you, you're going to add the seven to the four, make eleven. All right. And that's going to be your first part of your answer. So you, now you've got eleven and a nine. And that's the answer right there. Simple as that. So seven times seventeen is. 119 okay so it's just as easy as dealing with one times 77 or asking the question seven times seven and with the one left over okay again let's let's make it um, simpler or let's make sure we understand it I will draw another example I'll turn the page Okay, so now we're going to go, let's go 2 times 14. Again, what you're really asking is, you're saying, what is, what is 2 times 4? That's 8. You got to do it that one time, okay? Well, the only thing you have left here is a 2. So you place the 2 right back in front of it. And it's 28. You see, and that is right. Okay? It's just, but it's simple. 
that wasn't a hard thing to do, right? But it was still simple in the same in the same example can be seen. So if you got six times fourteen, it's the same thing. What you're doing is you're taking the twenty-four and then you're you got one left over, so you're gonna add it back to the six. So now our answer is going to be eighty-four. Okay, it's as simple as that. So when you see these things, when you see how simple these progressions are, you say to yourself, why wasn't I taught this in school? Because you weren't shown the simplicity of math. You were, you were shown the, the complexity of math. Everything is based on a progression from easy to using it more times, but it is still easy. Okay. So let's go back to remember I did one before and I and I asked the, the question um, that we're, we're doing what is sixteen times sixteen? Well, it's it's still just as easy sixteen times sixteen. Well, we'll do it this way. It's still just as easy. What you're doing here is you're taking you're taking sixteen and six this time, and so that's going to be twenty. Two. All right. So 16 plus 6 is 22. And then you're going to say, what is 6 times 6 is 36. So now you're going to add, you're going to add a 3 to this. So we'll just, we'll just put 36 here. We'll add these numbers together. So it's 2, 5, 6. Simple as that. Okay. Again, 16 times 16, you go. 16 plus 6 is 22, and then 6 times 6 is 36. So you, you add you add that one time. You add that next to it, and then you add them together like that. Okay. So again, it all comes from a progression, from dealing with a very simple problem of a number, times another number okay a number times another number a number times another number and you just simply add steps to it to make it easy to make it to make it you know able to be solved so let's look at another one again using the same examples of teens okay Let's do something really high. Let's go 9 times 19. Okay. It's the exact same principle. We all we already know that that 9 times 9 is 81. But there's a 1 left over. You got to deal with that 9. So if this 9 is here and we know that 9 and 8 are 17, what's left over is the 1. And that's the answer right there. So 9 times 19 is 100 because you've got the 81, but then you add the 9 to the 8 into 17. So it's 171. Very simple. Okay. And if you were going to do, let's look down here, if you were going to do 19 times 19, Again, the same thing. You take you take the nine and add nine. That's going to be twenty eight, and then you say eighty one. So it's eighty one. So the answer would be three six one. Okay, because if you added eight. To 28, it's going to be a 36, one left over. Okay, so again, it takes more time to solve the problem, but it doesn't get complicated. It still is simplistic in its operation and its progression. Okay, so learn to use these things, learn to use progression and simplicity as you're going through math. It's not that hard. 
And you can practice this with all the numbers in the teens, and you'll you have the mastered. So if someone asks you the question, what is um, 17 times 19, or what is 19 times 19, or what is whatever, anything in the teens, they're easy to do. And you're asking about things beyond that, that's from the video, it's not important, but it's important to first of all, get these things down. I always tell my students that these things should have been taught in kindergarten because they're so simple and they're a lot of fun. Okay. So when we start to look at things that are complicated, then we start to say, oh, I'll get to it later. But when it's fun, we get to it now. So again, learn these principles, get them down now. And if you're still young, you can move on with these in your head. And if you're older, you can be thankful that you've now learned them. Thanks for watching. This is John Flav Academy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and watch more than once to get a, a deeper understanding of what's going on. This is something that is for you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.